Hello folks and welcome back to Jack Payne's Food Paints. Just a quickie. It's been suggested that I put my go-to flour tortilla recipe in the down in the description section. Eh, expat from Thailand suggested it. Well expat, that's a good suggestion. I'll go ahead and do it. But I'm not listing out all that. I'm mass communicating here folks. So I'm going to quick video as quick as I can. Get it done. Show you what I do. There's a couple things I'll go into a little bit of detail, but other than that, let's get rolling. Okay, right here I got my three main ingredients other than flour and water. I don't use salt. This is my fat Crisco butter flavored shortening. And these are two things I'm using in place of salt. This is Nor tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. They use this quite a bit in like Mexican rice. This is really good stuff, guys. If you want something to boost up some flavor like in a flavor enhancer like instead of using a lot of salt or MSG try some of that in anything try it on anything and then I got some of this tajan don't use a whole lot of that it's kind of a, a fruity flavor type thing gives a little fruit type uh, taste to it and like I said just flour and water we'll get into that real quick no delays and don't mind my voice my voice is messed up right now I was rocking out last night pretty hard so Okay, first thing I'm going to add is two cups of all-purpose flour to my mixer. I use KitchenAid mixer. I don't sit there and mess around and do all this stuff, kneading by hand stuff. Two cups of that. Now with the Noor chicken tomato base bouillon, two teaspoons of that. I usually go one teaspoon per cup of flour. The Tajan, Tajan, Tajin, just a half a teaspoon. Don't want a whole lot of that. That's good. A little extra. I'll give that a quick mix in there. Mix that around. You don't want clumps or anything like that. So just mix it around. As for the Crisco, one heaping tablespoon. Probably closer to a tablespoon and a half. Crisco butter flavor. I'm going to go get some water. I'll explain the ratios in a minute, but while I'm doing the water, I'm going to put this mixing paddle on. I don't really think it's necessary, but I just do it. Try and mix that Crisco in there. Ain't going to hurt nothing just to do it while I'm getting water. Okay, I got my water. Water temp I run about 125 to 135. You just don't want it so hot that you're going to burn yourself, but you want it hot enough to where it melts down that Crisco. I go 45 to 50 percent volume of water. Now that depends. There's a lot of a lot of variances, type of flour you're using, who, you know, who made it, and all this stuff. Uh, atmospheric pressures, weather conditions. So I'll start out with like 45 percent and start from there and run it and we'll see what happens. Always start out a little light. People say, oh, it's easier to add flour than it is water. Oh, bullshit. It's all the same. If you're going to add something, you're going to add something. So I'll let that run a little bit and then I'll show you what I'm looking for. Okay. If you can see in there. The ball is kind of clinging to the dough hook. I'm going to pull that off there, and while I am, I'm going to do a little checking. See if it's, if it's the consistency I like. I feel this dough is pretty close. Now what you're looking for, let me back this up. What do I want to show you here? You want it supple, you want it soft, but when you put your finger in it, you want to stick your finger about, you know, a half inch in, roughly. There should be a little bit of resistance, shouldn't be too hard. And when you pull your finger out, it should puff back a little bit. Just a little. See how it's coming back? If it stays down in, you're too moist. And if you're if you push back and you got a lot of resistance and it comes all the way back, you're too dry. That comes back not too bad. See how it's coming back? Now when it gets hooked up on that dough hook like that, I'll break this up in two. Just do one of these numbers. Throw it back in there. 
spin it up some more because I want to run that for about 10 minutes. All right, here's the dough, folks. It's pliable. See how that is? Pull that apart. It's not ripping too bad. You can pull it apart pretty good. This could use a little bit more hand kneading. Other than that, that's it. Roll it out. I put mine in a plastic bag with oil in it. And I'll let it sit for a half hour or so. Half hour to an hour. And that's the dough. Right there. Now listen, I'm not going to go through the whole thing of cutting them up, weighing them out, and cooking them. You've already seen that process. But there's my dough recipe. For those of you who wanted to know. So anyhow, that's it. I'm going to put the dough ball in a bag. Let it sit. I'm going to be making tortillas. That's the end of this video, folks. I appreciate it. And I'm out. Ah!